probably a very, very obvious person when it comes to flirting. Sex eyes, pouty lips and a hand in the hair, you'll know. <laughs> I've got something that I really want to show you guys. Oh. Oh, look at oh, you. Yes. <laughs> to find true happiness in love and life, you must move forward. But who we really are is buried in our past. Look at that. You look like a girl, but it's a good picture. A girl? You do look like a girl. What were you like as a child? Very loud, very cheeky, very mouthy. <laughs> but I've changed a lot since then. I was always a bit of a weird-looking child. I had really black hair and, like, mono-brow and little slitty eyes. Didn't do well at school, no GCSEs. Um, was an idiot class clown. Nothing's changed. Did you look good when you were younger, Fred? Just like this, but did, without a beard. Did you, really? <laughs> <laughs> like the humble butterfly, who we once were may not reflect our potential. There will come a time when we must all spread our wings and fly. I was a goth and I was fat. Probably like a Marilyn Manson T-shirt and bright green eyeshadow and black eyeliner and long black big fringe. My style's changed a lot. <laughs> Ready to set pulses racing. This is a blonde bombshell. Is 25-year-old makeup artist and model, Danny. Ooh la la. It's really, really, really hard to find somebody to love. If I were to get married, it'd be really, really simple. Minimal makeup, hair tied back. Don't know if I'd be able to wear white. I'm a bit of a goer. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Very good, thank you. Good, nice to meet you. I'm very intrigued by you. Already? What's your name? Danny. Danny. Yeah. Dating is just a minefield. I reached a point over the past year or so where I realised that I'd been sort of selling myself short for a really long time. Do you know what you're looking for? Um, I'm not sure, as long as he's tall. So I, I would be out of the window you're out for of you. It, sorry. Yeah. Perfect. Hello. How you doing? So enjoy your day. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm probably a very, very obvious person when it comes to flirting. Sex eyes, pouty lips and a hand in the hair, you'll know. <laughs> That's a nice cucumber curl. <laughs> and so I heard you say you need someone tall today. I hope so, yeah. I hope so. How tall are you? Do you mind me asking? Six one. Six one. You need a guy at least six one? Ideally. Right. <laughs> A big, dark, nice-smelling man would be ideal. Big boss man. Proving that sometimes good things come in big packages is bar manager Aiden. If you make the height of six foot eight without shoes on, then you're technically classed as a giant. You know you're just tall, that's all. I went out in Brighton last night. It was rather loud, and uh, I forgot to bring spare clothes. <laughs> Maybe these are clothes you went out in last night. Yes. I've loads and loads of aftershaves, so I think we should be OK. <laughs> how are you? Hello, I'm good. I see you looking over there. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, how exactly tall are you? Six foot eight. Six foot eight? Yeah. Oh, my God. Quite tall, oh God. quite tall. I've been single for two, three years. It's getting a bit depressing now. Hopefully I will find the love of my life. You're Aiden, right? Yes. I prefer girls like, obviously not my height, but like tall, tall girls. Blue eyes would be nice. Come with me. I'll introduce you. Hi. Hello, Hi. how are you? Danny. Well, Aiden. Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, not bad. So where have you come from? Um, I live, like, ne near Notting Hill. You lived in London all your life? No, I'm from Wales. I'm from Cardiff. Oh, okay. I left Cardiff when I was 18, and then I lived in Ibiza for a couple of years. Wow. Yeah, okay. bit of a wild couple yeah. of years. Okay. <laughs> you know Cafe Mambo? Yeah. I used to live above it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I you never got to sleep? There was not much sleep. I was podium dancing a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? Of course. Yes. And we find you a tall man, you see? It's your bramble. Enjoy, guys. Thank you so much. Cheers. So hungry. I, I literally didn't eat anything today. I was out all night. <laughs> so I woke up this morning, I rolled over, and there was, like, beans on toast on my floor. I was like, when did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 
Hi, sir. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. Can I offer you a drink? Yeah, can I get, first of all, a glass of ice water? Big yeah. glass. And also an old-fashioned, please? Got you. No problem. Searching for a lady a cut above the rest is 39-year-old diamond grader Sachin. I could surround myself with diamonds and look glamorous and wear flashy labels, and I'm not like that. I'm very humble down to earth. But I'm getting an expensive car for special occasions. What's the expensive car? Lamborghini. Oh, that's great, thank you. Can I get some more ice, please, as well for the water? Yes, you can. Thank you. I've already bought my diamond for my engagement ring. is um, a 1.5 carat diamond. Been saving that one for the, the right person. Have you been on many dates? Yes. The average maybe one a week or something like this. Unfortunately for me, it's just one date, and I never want to go on a second date. When you get to my age and you're not settled down, and everyone around you settled down, I question myself: like, is it got to do with me? Is something wrong with me? Are you being too difficult? Or yeah, well, people say that. I've got to choose wisely. I've got to be careful because for me, it's a one-time thing, lifelong thing. I'm just looking for an equal, someone who's on my level. Women who know what they want in life, who are driven, but at the same time have that, that girliness about them. Sachin's date is 37-year-old financial lawyer Priya. The pursuit of happiness <laughs> lies in finding your life partner. I look around and I just see all these beautiful couples and they're having fun and I'm sitting there on my own. How are you? Hi. How are what you? a smiley girl. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for a living? Finance lawyer. Finance lawyer? Yeah. It's financial services. Oh. Yeah. I describe myself as an alpha female, somebody who is powerful, resourceful, strong. But I have been single <laughs> for some time. Just uh, a serial dater. Very nice guy. OK. For you? Amazing. I can't even remember going to this silly event, how to get a guy in three days or something. It didn't amount to anything, but it was fun. There we are. Hello. How Hi. are you? You okay? How are nice you? Nice to meet you. You too. How are things? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, good. Thanks, friend. Hi. What are the chances? <laughs> you remember my name? Sachin? Yeah, Sachin. Yeah, see, I do remember, see. Hello. Hi. How are you both getting on? No, we, we know each other from a de singles dating event, Asian dating event. Single Networking, yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, we didn't really speak. We didn't speak, yeah. I think maybe she got a lot of attention from all the guys. She was always busy with the guys. Oh, really? She was, yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, chilling out. Trying to get in there. Wow. <laughs> now you have. <laughs> <laughs> you look great by the way today. You look very different to... Yeah, last Do time I see you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Nice. Thank you. you. Yeah, you you look. Uh, I've never noticed your eyes before. So there we go. All right, cool. <laughs> Lovely eyebrows too. <laughs> yeah, I try. Surreal. Okay, we'll just like like let's pretend we've never met. Let's do that. Shall we? Let's do. <laughs> She is beautiful. Red is the colour in it. I love women in red. Red is the colour of the I worst. love blonde women in red. Blonde women in red. You don't sound Welsh at all. You literally have no, no inkling. Not even when you laugh or anything. I think if I was to go home and be around my family and my friends, oh my God, yeah. I sound like Charlotte Church. <laughs> Get drunk like her as well. Messy. <laughs> <laughs> No problem. Shit, <laughs> When was the last time you were on a date? Last week. When well? <laughs> when it comes to dating, I struggled with it. If I like someone, I'll not really tell them. I'm, re I'm open about it. Hi, guys. How are we doing? Oh, okay. Good, how are you? Very well, thank you. Both look lovely, bright and cheerful. Yeah. Surprising. Yeah. <laughs> You're about to tell them one thing about your history and it could change everything. Dating as a trans person is just a minefield, an absolute minefield. Oh, cheers, we didn't cheers. No, we didn't cheers. 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 It's a great day. Have you got 
family in London or in UK? I'm an only child. How are you? Yes. Sport brat, not really. No. Are you a sport brat? No. Be honest about no. it. Be honest. Are you a princess? No, I am not. I'm thoroughly <laughs> offended at that. But I, I am um, a descendant of royalty. Yeah. I do have this like air of authority around me, you know. The way I like I behave. Yes, I'm in the presence of royalty, how wonderful. <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're very privileged. <laughs> very privileged, yeah. <laughs> so what do you do now? I'm setting up a lingerie brand. OK. Basically, I w was very frustrated looking for lingerie. For the most part, the people that date trans people are really sort of secretive and they're really scared to be seen with somebody who is trans. And that's a really like hard pill to swallow. You just know that they will see you as completely differently from one sentence. I basically want to make products because okay. I couldn't find anything that was made for trans women. OK. Yeah. Which is me. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so glad I got that out of the way. I, di I didn't even notice. Thank God. I didn't even realise. Which is not a problem to me anyway. So. My old name was Daniel Zack. I was telling people my name was Crystal for a while. Which is really <laughs> it's a great name. My new name is Danielle, so it's not very bloody inventive, is it? Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Have you dated trans people before? You are the first. It's not, a, it's not an issue to me. My mother always says this to me, is that I was never camp, I was feminine. I wasn't an effeminate gay man, I was a woman. My mum's so supportive, she's like, she's a bigger advocate for everything than I am. She's great. How long have you been on this journey? Since I was 17. Yeah. And you knew beforehand, or...? I feel like I was the last person to know. Like... Okay. I've never really let it be who I am. Like, it's just a part of it. Would my life have been easier had it have been, it's a girl? Yeah, it would have been a lot easier, but I was just allowed to be really expressive of who I am. Like, I was never put in a box. I danced on a box, but I was never put in a box. Are you going to be going full...? I think I'm going to do it, but I'm not, like, uncomfortable yeah. the way I am. Yeah. I'm not, like, crying in the mirror. OK. Secondly, it's a financial thing of... I don't want a bog-standard minge. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Yeah. Are you planning to keep yours? Um, I hope so. I'm glad. Good. <laughs> Eventually. This looks amazing. Enjoy. Thank you. Tell me about your dating. Have you experienced love? I mean, I'm a sucker for a bit of romance. Never got any. Valentine's card only came from my mother. I know, it's pathetic, isn't it? My father wants to, me to be very independent, self-sufficient, so the emphasis was on an education, a good education, and then a career, um, and then obviously to find me a life partner. I just remember when my dad, you know, he went through so much with the arranged marriage route. He signed me up to, with a matrimonial committee, and he would get a spreadsheet, and he would just get a highlighter. So all the, all the lawyers and doctors and all, all the tick, 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 tick. Yeah, so he basically highlighted the entire page. <laughs> he, he stopped doing it for a little while and, you know, yeah, just lost the stamina. But then he, I don't know, something happened and then he'd just gone and put an ad in the matrimonial section of the Times of India. I have a daughter and she lives in the UK and anyone will do. I mean, come on, come yeah. on, really? That's just, that's crazy, right? 
I love that. That's it. That's an amazing thing to do. He's really, he wants you to find someone. He's making a big effort here. His heart was in the right way to do it. It's difficult when you come from an environment and upbringing where you put the needs of others first. When it comes to relationships, it's important to know how you feel about something. But some of us just live to make others happy. And are you, are you doing that? I think I am. I've done the whole, if family set me up, personally, it doesn't work for me in that way. I respect it, but it just, I'm not overly that way. We're both at that age, all right, where we're sensible, we're serious, um, and we want to settle down, hopefully, with the right person, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Are you ready to be settled down and have a family? Yeah, yeah, look, all my life, ever since I was a child. But I'm finding it hard to believe that you were having issues because you seem so confident and fine and because you seem like a nice person. You're lovely, so... You don't know me. That's maybe your... Yeah. Daniel, how are you? Deja vu. Yeah, deja vu. You look nice amazing. Nice to see you again. Thank you. I made a bit of an effort this time. Yeah. Wow. Trimmed the beard. Full nine yards, mate. All out for the win. I cannot foul. Come with me. Oh my god, this looks so yummy. Only thing is, I do not like pickles. You don't? I will eat your pickle. Oh, actually, they've been touching the meat. They've been touching the meat. Quite like the fact that you're willing to eat my pickle, though. Smooth. <laughs> So how long have you been single? Maybe three years. Okay. My last boyfriend. Oh wow, you like dated a guy? Yeah. So you're like completely bisexual? I'm technically, I class myself as pansexual. Right. What is the difference between bisexual and pansexual? Okay, so it basically doesn't matter what you got between your legs. If I get on with you and we have a connection, then Do it's fine. Do you think that the terms like pansexual and bisexual are often are just a sign of promiscuity. People call me greedy. Yeah. Not greedy. No, what do you think about that? Why, why should I not be able to embrace everything, everything that's, that's about? Makes no sense at all. I mean, that's quite a big thing. I mean, it says me, it's like, hi, trans. That's quite a big thing, isn't it? Returning to the restaurant, dressed to impress, is property developer Daniel. Oh, this feels familiar. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? What have you got in your bag there? Uh, a little present for the lady. Oh, what is it? You'll find out. A little secret. Oh, OK. Trust me on this one. I've got it. No more second no. This is it. Hi, I'm Lauren. Nice to meet you. Kiss you on the hand. <laughs> Wow, I'm nervous. Oh, my God, wow. it's got a head. Got <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, let's not look at that. Um, so, yeah, you've made an effort today and it shows. Well done. <laughs> you worked hard on that. <laughs> Crash and burn. I just thought we got on really well, just yeah. like mainly as friends. All right. I'm happy with that. Were you? No. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Daniel, relax, enjoy your drink. Merlin, pleasure as always to speak Absolute to you. pleasure. Cheers. Mm. I think I need to engage more with the person sitting across from me. And I just need to try and be less nervous, but, you know... How's that going to happen? <sighs> oh, my God. What is love to me? Well, we expect to have a version of love and none of us really know what it is. I just want my version of love, and I'll know it when I feel it, and I'm just desperate to feel that feeling. I wanna know what love is. I wanna know what love is. Daniel's second chance at love is seafood chef Ray. Right, Daniel. Solid as a rock, mate. No nerves here. I've got this. I wanna feel what love is. How are you? Hello. All right. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Oh, my God, wow. <sighs> oh, my good Lord. I believe I should have been like a 1950s kind of girl. I like that old-fashioned romance, and it's really hard to find these days. What's your name? I'm Ray. Oh, that's a nice name. Where's it from? Rachel, but it's Rachel. Shorten. Oh, OK. <laughs> to find anybody more attractive. I quite like somebody who can hold a good conversation and 
who don't really t take world, the world too seriously. Here we are. You're going to have fun with this game. <laughs> Hello. Enjoy. Hello. Right. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to you, right? meet you too, yeah. All right. What's Double your name? kiss. Daniel. Daniel, I'm Ray. Nice to meet you. Ray. With an E. With an Ray e. with an E. With an oh, E. Right. That's an interesting name. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Oh, God. How they put are the you? seats nice and close together, don't they? <laughs> but blimey. <laughs> Might as well just sit on your lap and you have it done. With it. <laughs> right. Um, yes, yeah, so what would you like? I really fancy a raspberry mojito, if I may, please. I'm bad with that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it makes me ill. Oh. I tried champagne once. I got an employee of the year and then got sacked. <laughs> I'm like seven or eight glasses in, and all of a sudden I go to collect the ward, stumble, headbutt the manager's wife, and then fall down the stairs on the other side. So no that's way. that. Yeah, job done. I would have loved to have seen it. Oh, it was epic. Literally, oh. I just yeah. had like. An embarrassing moment. I was on the train. Yeah. And I thought that they were saying, right, so I'd done this wink. <gasps> so anyway. So um, I've done this like like this. Yeah. But he kind of sits up and like puts his arm around his girlfriend. Oh. And I'm like, so now I'm trying not to laugh. So I'm like, this is killing me. Just to let you know, I would have pushed my girlfriend <laughs> over. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. <laughs> BFG. Um, he's he's really nice, like he's lovely. I told him the whole trans thing. He was like, yeah, I'm totally fine with that. I was like, okay. It was like as if I said, like, yeah, I really like the colour pink. <laughs> That's the first time in my life that I've told somebody where they haven't been like, what? Hello. Hello. Okay. Yes, I'm good. How are you? Okay. The pansexual thing threw me, but it doesn't bother me at all, actually. Um, I find it's, it's quite intriguing that he's just so, like, open-minded. Like, he's a really lovely guy. This is good. This is good. It's been a good day. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you want to see each other romantically again? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, why are we being so weird? Yeah, we do, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, without yeah. doubt. Yeah, date number two. I am for one So full now. I am. Um, <laughs> I don't think you've ever been fat, have you? I was. I was. No. I was. With moon face. I felt like we'd known each other for ages already. Um, be fair, obviously. Should we make a move then? Yeah. I feel like you'd be a great drinking buddy, first of all. Like, I feel okay. like we, we would bounce off each other. Yeah. And I also feel like you would naturally be really, like, protective. Here we are. Take care. Ciao. Bye. Bye. And you're six foot eight, babe. <laughs> Yeah, I think there's a bar not far from here, just down there. OK, cool. I need to call my mum first and let her know that you're not a fucking psycho. <laughs> I've got you a gift. You've never seen anything like it. Ah, oh, it's going to knock you bandy. Right? Well, Have that. You. Oh, my yes. God, it's a cactus. Yes, it's a cactus. It's a real Don't cactus. freak out. Now, listen, what? what does everybody give everybody? Flowers and chocolate. They last forever, yeah? Yeah, he's never going to die. Okay. Yeah? You see where I'm going with this now, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Right. That, you can have that. That's on me. Yeah. I've nailed that, Fred. Yeah. What? Do you like it? <laughs> that went better in my head. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Got enough there? Yep. Do I look like anyone famous? There's two people. One is an international <laughs> lawyer married to an actor. Oh, George Clooney is, um, what's his, uh, Amal, is it Amal? Do you think like I look like Amal Clooney? Apparently she looks like me. Really? OK. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But I'm way prettier, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Of course. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> OK, what about Anne Hathaway? Devil Wears Prada. Did you say 
that? Or do you get that? that? She, no, she said she... People I, I tell you that? Uh, no, no, I do get that, okay. absolutely. Yeah. At 64 years of age, George is still seeking his next thrill. Anything dangerous, I'll have a go at. Danger, danger! After the first parachute jump at 8,000 feet, I did it again. I thought this is boring. In the end, got up to 24,000 feet with oxygen. You can see the curvature of the Earth. It is unbelievable. Danger, danger. Auto gyro. It's like a miniature helicopter. It's the one thing left on my bucket list apart from meeting someone. How are you? Hello, Fred. I'm good, thank you. How are you? That's where you come in. Okay. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you very much, Enjoy. Fred. I will. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Merlin. How are you? George. Nice to meet you, George. Can I have a black mushroom, my recipe, please? Yeah, how do you like it? Equal measure, Kahlua and vodka, some ice, please. Right, cool. Is that a watch? No, that's a panic button for when I'm at home. I don't know whether I should take it off. Oh. I live on my own and I've got, I've got a heart condition. I've got congestive heart failure. Basically, it's hereditary. My father died of it at age 60. I'm 64. I don't know how long I'm going to live. Positive mental attitude, you know? I'm here today, and I live today to the full. I'm going to Jamaica on Sunday. I'm so excited because I have two weeks with the feet up, in the sun, um, eating and drinking what I want. But I love going on holidays. But all the things that I would like to do, I'd like to share them with someone. So what sort of ladies do you like? Oh, any of them. All of them. Oh, that's, that's the, the right truth. answer. <laughs> that's the truth. Yeah. I have always looked for someone to spend the rest of my life with. I want someone that's got a bit of get up and go. Even though my get up and go's got up and gone. You got, you got to try, haven't you? Hello. This is 62-year-old teacher, Les. Pretty in pink, but pretty tired of dating. Only these dating site things. I met some very odd people. We have Saddle and Sock Man, Fat Man, and then there was Dry Hump Man. I went to the bar, I came up behind me, grabbed all my boots and started to dry hump him. Like, what do you think you're doing? How are you? I'm very nervous. Let me give you a hug. Oh, thank you. Shall I take your jacket? Yes, thank you. You'll be more comfortable. This is nice, isn't it? Yeah, very nice. Thank you. I want to meet somebody who has honesty and warmth, I think, are the two most important things. Someone who's got a bit of get up and go, really, I suppose. Come with me, please. Thank you. There we are. Here's your date. Enjoy. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Les. Hello, Les. I'm George. Hi, George. Good it's to nice see to meet you. Please. Oh, thank you. I love your hair. It was a mistake. Really? Oh, God, yesterday I washed it five times. It wasn't meant to be as bright as you know, this. You know, all Oh, no, 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 no. It'll be very, no, very. No. Within that. the day. <laughs> that is perfect. <laughs> Cheers. Here's to, a, Cheers. Here's to a lovely time. Yes. Looking forward to it. Are you hungry? To be honest, I'm so nervous. Not particularly, but I will be when I see the food. <sighs> but I'm here now. So we can just chill, relax, uh, with a couple of drinks yes. and get to know each other. Yes. Sounds Indeed. perfect. <laughs> Before your business, what were you doing? I'm a qualified diamond grader. What was it? Qualified diamond grader. I'm sorry, what? Qualified... Diamond grader. Oh! <laughs> you know what I thought you said? Go on, go on. <laughs> I thought you said, um, qualified diamond raider. Like... Raider? Oh, like a thief. Well, I'm thinking James Bond, like, diamond raider, like... Oh, no, 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 not at all. Going no, out no. there... No, no, no. ...stealing from the rich and giving to the poor, except that's not James Bond. That's Robin Hood, that's Robin Hood. Yeah, yeah. But diamond raider, that sounded really cool for a second there. And you know, I'm not saying she's not an attractive person. She's stunning, gorgeous, and like she said, she looks like some of these famous people. That's I get it, but sometimes it beats in the eye of the beholder. Are you happy to pay for drinks, or you want me to like? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Are you sure? It's cool. Do you want the sweeties? I don't want a sweetie. My dad would absolutely adore him. He's um, hardworking, <laughs> ambitious, pleasant to the eye. What would my dad like about him? Okay, overall? Yeah. 
I don't know, it's weird. It right? is weird. Because you expect to be a complete uh, stranger. And... <laughs> So, do you want to see each other again? <laughs> Let's see him again. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's really nice meeting you. Can I shake your nice hand? Nice to meet you too. Thank you. <laughs> um, I think you're a wonderful, amazing person, but I personally just don't think we're suited for each other. I think mm. probably not. This is yours. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you. You just go with your initial instincts. Mm. And if your initial instincts is the there wasn't a connection there, then you've just got to park it and move on. See, that's, that's perfect. That's yeah. exactly how it, I agree. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Took you ten minutes. You said it. <laughs> at least I said it. Trust me, right? At least I said it. So how old are you? Sixty-four. Oh, are you? Oh, yes. I'm sixty-two. Oh, okay. You don't look it. Oh, you don't either. You've got all your hair. No, I know. I've got. <laughs> it's a wig. Don't pull it. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not. No, I haven't got any colour. It's normal, natural. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh. I bet your mates hate you. <laughs> they you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there we go. What can you do? No, so, do you have any children? No. So, no children whatsoever. My brother has got seven yeah. grandchildren. I love them. I have my grandson who lives with me. You say grandson? Uh, yeah. My, my daughter um, died. She oh. was 28 weeks pregnant. She was pregnant but started to be really ill right from the very beginning. She starts to get really, really dizzy and be sick constantly. There was all sorts of strange symptoms. After she died, they scanned her and she had a massive brainstem tumour. Losing a child is like, oh, my God. I've never felt pain like it ever in my whole life. And still now, sometimes it takes my breath away because I forget. I want to tell her something and I think, oh, my God. I continue to mourn her and miss her and find it... Sorry. ..quite difficult. Sorry. If Rosie had died and I hadn't had Bob, yeah. my grandson who lives with me, I don't know how to cope, really. After she died, they brought Bob up, actually, and, and put him on her chest because they do this skin-to-skin -skin thing. I looked at him and I just thought, oh, my God, that's her little boy. And we've got to look after him now. Obviously, she didn't know, but we had a photo so that when he's older, he'll know that he actually was with his mum. What do you do with Bob? Because... Oh, I basically have taken over being his mum, really. I could have adopted him, but because, obviously, his dad is always still around, I became his legal guardian because he, see, he still sees his dad twice a week. Um, so, basically, I, I take him to football and, and he plays... He does rugby and he does mini tennis. Excellent. Is he good at tennis? He is, actually. He's got a good swing on him. Oh, Out of awful things come other things and I have this amazing child. That's lovely. I think you, you just have to... Grab life and move on. He's a little corker. Yeah, of course he is. He's your grandson. You're going to love him to pieces. And I know that. Lovely. Oh, sorry. Hello. No, I'm Hello. sorry. Interrupt. Drinks? Would you like any yes, more? Yes, please. I. What would you like? I'd like a glass of champagne. Oh, okay. Would you like the same? Well, a bottle yeah. of champagne. Please. Well, go on then. Go there on. you go. <laughs> Why not? Who is this man? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Hey, can I get you anything else? Any sauces Have or anything? Yeah, no, I'm golden. Thank you very much. You know what, right? I'm just going to come out and be really honest with this, right? But I've forgotten what you do. I'd rather do that than try and work out some weird way of extracting it out of you in some weird way. We're going so on sorry. to now what I do. Do you know, I'm so sorry that I've forgotten. That's so disrespectful. No, because you know what? And my head's just all over the place, I think, in the early part. Calm down, Daniel. It's going to be all right. <laughs> I, I was about to tell you she came to take our order. Oh, right. You hadn't told me. 
So this is awkward, so you already know that I'm already quite awkward. <laughs> so this is good. Something not quite right here, but there's a, there's a lot right here. Is this where your heart is? Is it this side? I'm probably the worst person in any first date scenario. Quite negative on yourself, aren't you? Uh... You're being negative there, Daniel. Oh! <laughs> I think it's a defence mechanism, cos I think I'll get in there before someone else does. I know. Yeah. I used to do that, but mm. I had a bit of a relationship that didn't work out. I, you know, I had a child oh, young. That's cool. I have a son, he's eight. Oh, listen, I've got a son who's nearly eight as well, so we're, okay. we're on the same page there. How long have you been single? Don't mind me asking. It's like nearly five years. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, oh, like. Wow. That's surprising. God, it's embarrassing. No, 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 it's not embarrassing, it's surprising. You know, when I went through the breakup of Alf's dad, he sort of said, No one will want you, you've got baggage. And that moulded into my head so much. And I, I was like, He's right. And it, I believed it for years. I, I had no self worth, none. And it took me a long time to rebuild, it, it did. Prior to this, how's your dating gone? Um, you know, not so great, really. I can't keep third wheeling, come on. What's that mean? Like, I'm around my friends. Oh, know. what, and they're all in relationships? They're all in oh, relationships. Yeah. Yeah, amen you know, to that. I'm talking to the waiters most of the night. Like. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you try not to talk to any of these in front of me, all right? I'm already dying on my feet now. Yeah. Right, don't make it worse. <laughs> I'm going to Jamaica on my own on Sunday. Whereabouts in Jamaica do you stay? A resort. Yeah, it's a hotel with all sorts of extras, yeah. It's beautiful. You're making me feel very jealous here, you know that. Pack your bag, come on Sunday. Oh, I'd love to. I'll <laughs> tell you what, you wouldn't stay in Jamaica if you could. No. Uh, really? I've got a heart condition. I've got one of my heart drugs. It cost me about £400. Oh because God, they really? don't have the national health like we do. So what's wrong with your heart? It's congestive heart failure. Oh, right. So it doesn't pump very well. There's four stages of heart failure. Stage four is where I am, which is, it's called, they call it end of life. <laughs> Sorry. I might live another 10 years, you don't know. You know? I'm not looking for a carer, I'm looking for a partner. When I was 21 and 22, okay, I was South Bucks champion for squash. Really? And yet, look at me now. You look amazing. What are you talking about? You look brilliant. Oh, God, no, you try watching me walk no, across the road. No, you look amazing. Thank you. You try and see me walking down the, that thing with these bloody shoes on. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Good health and well met. And you too. Bob, I've had champagne. Well, look, I'll, I'll see you later on, my darling. Okay? I love you. I love you more. I love you a lot. I'll see you soon. Okay. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye, Bye Bob. Love you a lot. Hello? Oh, my God. Girls. <laughs> Listen, you brought me a cactus to the date. <laughs> <laughs> When do you break it to me she's not coming back? Oh, Danielle. Oh, God, don't say she's not coming back. Yeah, no, I don't think you should f feel under any pressure. Oh, that's impossible. I'm feeling enormous pressure constantly. Rum's helping. Good. Much <laughs> courage. I like you, Fred. Hey. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Blinding. Oh. Thanks for coming back. <laughs> oh, you've been one of the best dates I've ever had, by far, hands down. I was attracted to her. I fancied her, yeah, who wouldn't, you know? Why do I think she's going to say no? It's like a gut feeling. I like to think that I can read people, um, and I sort of, I think I've read this one right. Cheers, Trigle, you know the number, put it in. <laughs> oh I'm a regular. 
Oh, pleasure as always. See you in a couple of weeks. Oh, my it's a joke. God. It's a joke. Everyone lighten up. <laughs> no problem. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Would you like to see each other again? <laughs> Daniel is such a great guy. Here we go. Great guy. <laughs> yeah, just... I want to say friends. <laughs> oh, yeah, go for it. Oh, I love being in that zone. But, uh, I actually had a really good time. Hello. I was nervous and you put me real at ease. Will you be called the um, Cactus the Gate? Ca cactus <laughs> Gate. Yeah, Cactus <laughs> Gate, why not? Thank you so much for playing the game. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you, nice to meet you. Take Have care. a safe trip back. And you. All right, take Hello. care. Oh, darling, all right. You all right? Strip club, please, driver. Nice one. Look at him. Look at that That's beautiful. Why can't you younger boys take a leaf out of this guy's books? He is a proper gen. Like, he ordered for her, okay. he ordered champagne. Would you pay on the first date? Yeah, if I wanted to see him again, 100%. You're such a little gen. If I didn't want to see him again, hops. OK. OK. I'm not mad about going for walks, but I like to go away for a weekend. Yeah. I like to do things. I like you all need that to have someone you, it's to no share fun, that it's with. It's no fun doing it on your own. This okay. is much more fun. With somebody. Where I've got arthritis in my hip. Yeah, I'm a bit of a wreck, really. No, hey, don't talk to me about being a wreck. I've got a heart condition. I got, I'm diabetic. Oh, me too. Oh, no. <laughs> Would you like to see each other again? Yeah, definitely. Yes, we would. If I just said that, I was going to hit you if you didn't. That's why I didn't hang about, because it would be I so... You're in there first! It would have been so... Go, go for it! Jeez. Sorry, bad leg, sorry. I've got a bad leg now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get that. No, we'll, do it, we'll do half. No, we'll do it between us. Listen, George. We'll, George, we'll do it between us, please. Please. We'll do half now. Can I just say something? Yes, you can. I'm a gentleman. I was always taught if you take a girl out, if you can't afford to look after and pay for her, don't take her out. It was lovely to meet you. You were so welcoming. You were such a gentleman. I had such lovely... I've not had an evening like that for so many years. Aww. Nobody's bought me champagne in I don't know how many years. Nobody spoilt me the way you spoilt me tonight. It was absolutely lovely. Right, can we need to go? OK. Bobby is <laughs> very, very lucky to have a mum. Well, I know she's not mum, but she's <laughs> she's acting mum to oh, have. Oh, thank uh, you. Because she's a lovely lady. <laughs> so he is very lucky. Thank you for a lovely evening. Thank you so much. Lovely. Mm, thank you. Thank it's you. been my pleasure. Thank you. That's you lovely. Go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Date number two is going to be Soho drinks, 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 I think. Oh, wow, OK. Say it's only a paper moon sailing over... It was lovely. And the champagne was amazing. Oh, we, all we had a bottle of champagne. <laughs> we had a bottle of champagne, yes. She drank most of I it. I did not! Liar. <laughs> yes, it's only a canvas sky Hanging over a muslin tree But it wouldn't be made Do you know what? You're like my mate. You're like a yeah, mate. Yeah, that's it. But we're not going to be mates, by the way, just so we're clear. Oh, that's weird. So I've actually been... Is there a custard pie in here? <laughs> it's a honky parade Without... First time, too much hair. Second time, too much cactus. Melody played in a penny 